Hi, good morning, chill ladies. My name is Jack Guy, and welcome to Jack's room uh, here in this recording space, but also welcome to Marie's room. This is a game that has crossed my Steam page many, many times. It's a free-to-play game, and each time I've seen it, it always reminded me of, like, the little screenshots and everything that it showed. It reminded me a lot of Life is Strange, just the style of it, and hearing the music here now in the menu, it also sounds like Life is Strange. It has nothing got to do with Life is Strange, it just reminded me of that. But it's an interesting looking game. I think you just get into the room and you explore around it and you uncover a story that way through the environment. But it said when I started up the game that this is a short game meant to be played like in one sitting. There's no saves. There's nothing like that. So I'm very, very curious. I don't really know anything else besides that. So let's just start game, shall we? It might have a few twists and turns and surprises up its sleeve for us. I don't know why I'd have twists and turns I up its sleeve. I didn't leave. want to come back. Why would I? After all that's happened, even in here. So, hmm. where is the journal? Good question. Where is the journal? I'll pose you a better question. What is the journal? Even better, why is the journal? Those pictures are changing. Okay, this is some weird Harry Potter stuff going on. Okay. Let's go around. Is that me? Oh my god, the hair. What was I thinking? Wait, which one? Are you red hair or brown hair? Probably red hair. Oh, this is lovely. Who's this? Look, Mr. Torres. I'm happy he finally got remarried. A honeymoon in the Bahamas. Wish I was there with them. A bunny moon in the Bahamas. California crisp white wines. Mm. I'll need a crate of those when I get out of here. You have a very buttery smooth voice. I like it a lot. Also, California wines, they kind of suck. What, more than a hundred again today? Glad I don't have to deal with that anymore. I remember the first time I heard, like years and years ago when I was younger, the first time I heard Americans talk about the temperature when I was a kid, and I heard them say it's over a hundred degrees, and I'm like, how does anybody survive over there? Because <laughs> I was like, the America, it's so dangerous over there. hundred degrees, and I'm like, oh wait, it wasn't until I was older that I learned the difference between Fahrenheit and Celsius. <laughs> no, that's her parents' room. Okay, so we're getting small bits of information as we go along. Don't need to go in there. That's the bathroom. Hmm, maybe later. This Chipotle is going straight through me. This is quaint and cozy, and the music's lovely. Welcome back, Kelsey. I got an achievement. Oh, little cat post. There it is, Marie's journal. Hi, Hi Kelsey. Kelsey. Yes, I'm talking to you. Oh, I don't need to read. I know you've been reading my journal. Can I ever forgive you for what you did? Honestly, I don't know. I'm trying really hard, but I don't know how. Because I don't understand any of it. You are my friend. And I loved you unconditionally. I did what I did because of you, and I stood up to him because of you. But you, I don't know. Right now, I can't be near you, so I don't want you to come find me. I promise I'll be all right, Marie. Except she wouldn't be. She would not be all right. Whoa. Whoa. Hot damn! Wake me up when I'm famous. Well, you see, that's never gonna happen if you're asleep. You can't just become famous. You gotta work very, very hard for it. Come on, Marie, looking for the easy way out. Don't pick up. She got a burger phone. Trevor's phone number. He called her. I knew he blamed her for everything. Though she should have blamed him for what he did to her and Mr. Torres. Okay, that's a lot of intrigue going on. What the hell is- what, what happened? Mr. Taurus? Trevor? What'd you guys do? Come to this morning. 
This is great, man. Oh, I need Marie's password. Um, cat lover sixty nine. What's the password again? I need to find it. Password hint is I'm not a crook. Damn. What's the password again? Thought she was Richard Nixon. I need to find it. I am not a crook. All right, vinyl inbox. This is a cozy room. I want a room that looks like this. Little loft room. They always have such nice atmosphere to them, and these little lights are always so nice. Turn on TV. Have you seen this man? No, I can barely see have him now. Have you seen this man? <laughs> yeah, I've seen him. Is that Ed Sheeran? String of burglaries in Orange Grove, and she talked about some guy named Trevor and what he did. Ah, uh, yes. The science project. Of all people, they chose to pair me with the girl from Food Rescue. Outrageous. But I got over it, and chose to work my ass off. I had to if I wanted to get that scholarship. Me? A person in fashion and literature? Pairing me with the food resource person? Ha! Outrageous. I like this little cat. He's going in a portal. Chemistry holds no surprises. Love that. Well, to be fair, I'm sure it holds a bunch of surprises. Especially when people started discovering stuff for the first time. You know? Science is full of surprises all the time. Mr. Torres. Thick as thieves, those two. Ever since Lorraine died, they only had each other. Marie was suffering when he was in intensive care. That was a nasty knife wound. Okay, immediately I'm thinking some guy named Trevor broke into the house, killed the mom, stabbed him. I don't know, we'll see what happens. She wouldn't stop about time travel and black holes and stuff. I just wanted to do something simple. Calculate shit. Boring, is what she said. <laughs> Her. The weird kid talked boring. So yeah, we settled on antimatter, because who wants to be boring? Not me. Give me antimatter any day, you know? What about that antimatter dog? Aw, oh, Stephen Hawking. Rest in peace, Stephen. And you, Albert. But you died way longer ago. You were before my time. Um... Okay, let's just keep exploring. A fan! <gasps> Sometimes it got so hot, this thing wasn't doing it anymore. Then we'd take off to Mr. Jones's swimming pool. That night, I guess he must have seen us. Hmm. You're my biggest fan! Actually, you're Marie's biggest fan, I guess. Desk lamp! <sighs> La La Land. That movie was a shit piece of crap. Glad Trevor snuck us in. Hey! I don't think I could have handled wasting 20 bucks on that. Never thought I'd see Marie there. Then again, she always was a dreamer. I bet she loved it. She never realized I didn't want to be her friend in public. Where's the QR code go? I'm curious. I don't have a QR thing on my phone. Who uses QR codes anymore? But also, La La Land is great! I mean... I don't normally like musicals, but I enjoy it. It's good acting, it's good cinematography. You shut up, Kelsey. Okay, I'm updating my journal. I'll take a look at that now in a second. Disgusting, but cheap. I got used to them after I didn't want to go to the food kitchen anymore. The vicious taste of these meatballs still beat the- Ah, oh, crap! I thought you would keep talking. My bad. Ooh, this one's a shiny. Ah. Are you- are you gonna read it or do I have to read this one? Okay. Oh my god! They put me on Kelsey's team. My heart races whenever I stop to think about it. Don't think she's all that pleased though. I wonder whether she remembers me from Food Rescue. God, I hope not. I feel so connected to her. Isn't that weird? I'd love for us to be friends. She's just amazing. Can't wait to start working on our science project. Did you get that? Our science project. I feel like I'm going to explode from excitement. That's sweet. Big mood! This is me! 
Like, constantly. This is me on a 24-7 basis. <laughs> I screwed up. But I was worried. I'm still worried. And what else could I do? Kelsey hasn't been to food rescue in a while, and I just wanted to make sure she was, wasn't was hungry or something. So I offered her my sandwich. Ah, Why did I do that? Now we'll never be friends. Good one, Marie. Really, really well done. She looked at me like I was crazy and walked out. And now we're behind with the project too. I hope we make the deadline. Oh, you're cute. January 5th, 2018. So it's current at least. We're all just matter. That's what Kelsey keeps saying. And she's right, but matter is also life. And life is something we need to take care of. She likes to be out on a limb. She says she's got nothing to lose. Bam! She didn't even realize she was what she was saying. Maybe I'm too sensitive. <laughs> guess that'll show me to believe that we were friends. I guess I am a shadow person after all. I think she's gonna break her neck, by the way. See if I care. Jeez, man. <laughs> Fuck, I'm so stupid. I finally got to see La La Land. They showed it on Classics Night at the theater. I went with Ben. Loved it. Kelsey was there too. I was happy to see her. I actually friggin' hugged her and she pushed me away, asked me what I was doing, and that Trevor asshole was enjoying the show and her stupid cheerleader friends. Oh, it says I am alone. Do you have a little crush on Kelsey? We're going to be friends. Ooh, the fucking swear jar. You may have noticed, sweet journal, that there are less and less F words in these pages. I am so friggin' proud. Ha! Only when I go berserk, like when Kelsey threw that rock through my window, that it's hard to keep up. Then it's hard to keep up. Did you know that as a little girl, I used to curse abundantly? Trying to extend my vocabulary here. Dad thought it indicated intelligence, and I guess I looked cute up to a certain age, but he said mom hated it. So every time I used the F word, he made me put a piece of candy in the swear jar. Can't tell you how much that hurt every time. Because I'd never see it again. I think he secretly ate it. He must have rejoiced. Yep, vocabulary extension again. Every time I swore like a madman. Mad woman. Must have. Okay, so these are moving quite forward in time. That was March. The other one was January. Now we're on to April. April 13th, 2018. That wasn't that long ago. I think he's crazy. He keeps calling me at the most impossible hours. Just to yell at me. Calling me names. Threatening me that if I don't let Kelsey go, he'll do this or that. As if I've got her tied up in here. I now unplug the phone when I go to sleep. I'm getting real bad vibes off some of this stu stuff, dudes. Bad news. There's been another home invasion just two blocks from here. They killed the woman this time. And the police think it's Trevor. I suppose it was him in our house? I can't wrap my head around it. It's too big. But Kelsey says it isn't true. That Trevor is a bastard but would never commit such violent acts. Looking at that torn t-shirt, I think she might be in denial here. Mother of God! Were you dating a dude who killed people and... Went into their houses? Sweet Jesus. Oh, there's the ripped t-shirt. What an asshole. After we broke up, he got violent sometimes. One day, he dragged me through the school hall by my shirt. Until one of Marie's geek friends stopped him. Ben, I think it was. He got a lot of shit for it later. So Ben was the guy going out with Marie. Huh. Marie always dreamed about going to Europe. I don't think she ever went. We should come over, it's great! We got a lot of stuff, a lot of culture, a lot of foods. A lot of different languages going on in this, this tiny little piece of the world. Come on over, have a good time. Panda bin. Panda, 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 panda. Oh wait, I looked at that picture already. I just want to search around and find everything else. Mr. Torres and Marie were robbed in their own house. Not long after we met at food rescue. He was stabbed. Almost died. She was knocked out with a baseball bat. She was in the hospital for a while. Stitches, concussion. She still had headaches, she said. Damn. That's fucked up. So the mom didn't die in the home invasion, but the dad was stabbed during it and Marie almost died. 
Home invaders stab a father, bash his daughter. I can kind of read this, but not really. So is that the dude that Kelsey was seeing? Trevor. Marie insisted on saving these. She was going to make a new world with them. Whatever that was supposed to be. I've never actually seen her build anything. What about Lego? Huh? Lego's pretty dope. You build that. I'm, I'm not, not a, a shadow, shadow person. person. Yeah. It took me all I had to convince her she wasn't. Okay, so now I'm curious as to what happened with them. I loved skinny dipping, but Marie insisted on wearing this thing. Really, I mean, it was Mr. Jones's pool. After dark, no one would ever come close to the freak. And he wasn't there, just to be clear. But someone else was. Oh, Mr. Jones. I was like, isn't Mr. Torres her dad? Um, or Mr. Jones her dad, but I forgot his name is Mr. Torres, not Mr. Jones. She loved being a birthday girl. Mr. Torres would take her shopping every year. Cool. Can't you call him by his real name and stop calling him Mr. Torres? Every Jorge Tuesday, Tamales! The trucks would roll in. Me and Marie never missed Jorge's tamales. When oh. I was a kid, Jorge would put some aside. Just in case my mom was too drunk to feed me again. Jeez, man. This game's got some heavy stuff going on. He had money. You see? He bought me things. I was gonna wear these to the prom. Fancy, right? At the time, I didn't know where the money came from. Oh, this is my jacket. She asked me why I was so angry all the time, and... I told her because it's a dirty deal. It's Russian roulette and utterly unfair. The cards I'd been dealt, any player would have passed. I chose to be angry instead. But Marie, my friend Marie, she got me a new deck and suggested I deal again. That's a nice gesture. Okay, let's read some more of the journal entries. Are those Doritos? Orange peels. Have you ever peeled an orange so juicy the drops erupted from underneath the skin like fireworks in the setting sun? The trees in Mr. Jones's garden had them. I used to live off his garden vegetables and fruit before I met Trevor. Then I lived off the streets. <laughs> you made it sound like someone discovering poetry for the first time. Oh, this is a new one. We needed this. Beer, water, and oranges. Oranges. Like so many nights before Trevor. No. I'm not gonna let him spoil my night at the pool with Kelsey. He who shall not be named, shall not be named. Not today. Take that, Voldemort. Kelsey took me night swimming in Mr. Jones's pool. I was scared shitless the first time. But- Ah! Two beers and freshly picked oranges! Chill. Best nights ever. That's cool. Ooh, these are new. Kelsey is so angry at the world, like, all the time. It's kinda annoying, but I get it. We all have a different story to tell. So, as a friend, I did the only decent thing. I told her she could do anything she wanted, she just had to make it happen. Not wait for it. I told her to deal again. Not drugs. The cards. Kelsey broke up with Trevor. Finally. She can do so much better than that total loser. He assaulted her in, in the school hallway. Of course, no one saw it happen, but he literally tore the clothes from her body. Fuck. I promised not to swear, so there you go. But she's, she's done with him now. Things can only get better. That was the 11th. This is the 13th. Oh, wait. This is the... Yeah. Huh. Wait, so was that Trevor that did that? He called me impossible hours just to yell at me, calling me names, threatening me that if I don't let Kelsey go, he'll do this or that as if I got her tied up in here. Oh, so did he come here looking for Kelsey? She called me her friend today. I'm not a shadow person anymore. She's my friend. That's adorable. 
Oh, those sparkly shoes. She wears them all the time. Last night the heels dug into my calf. That frickin' hurt. Have you seen those heels? So I yanked them off her feet and told her, not in the bed. She was amused. I can't think why. To be honest, I wish I was a size 9, because they look absolutely gorgeous. On Kelsey's feet, at least. When I tried them on, I looked like a little girl trying on mommy's shoes. Oh. You got a thing for, a thing for feet there, Marie? Just stop! Why do you keep writing this shit? I know there isn't much news in Orange Grove, but it's been ages. Not literally, but you know. They're never going to find them. I wish everyone would just stop. Leave us alone. So I can forget the whole god-awful night. Some think my dad was a hero for trying to stop them. Truth is, we never saw them coming. When that guy jumped and stabbed my dad, something snapped and I would have punched him. Scratched his eyes out, I swear. I think I could have killed him. But the other one got to me before I even knew there were two. I never saw their faces. Neither did my dad. So they never caught them. I'm not fearless. Huh. Did we get a thing for this yet? Damn, what's the password again? I need to find Shadow it. person? There we go. Kitty gif! Ah, oh, it's adorable! It's playing with fish on an iPad! I've seen that gif actually before many times. Look at her Why mail. does someone need to get hurt before we step up and act, for Christ's sake? If they had, none of this shit would have happened, and no one would have died. There's only two emails I can read. This is from Mrs. Mr. Phillips, the principal. Hi, Marie. It grieves me to hear that this is how you feel, but I'm afraid there's not much I can do at this stage. I understand you are alarmed and feel unsafe, but Trevor has not broken any school laws, nor has he hurt anyone. I would like to invite you and Trevor into my office to see if we can start up a conversation between the two of you. Let me know when you are ready to talk. You know where to find me, okay. Oh no. Why didn't you tell me, Marie? No wonder you were so frightened. We never should have gone to the Orange Grove. My god. So Trevor sent an email with the picture showing that he could see Mr. Torres and Marie? That's messed up. Is this all there is? Huh. Oh. One day, I just had to know. What's up with all the cats? She said she admired them. That they were who they were without any pretense. That they had no fear of confrontation. She wanted to be more like them. Little weird, but cats are pretty cute, so I can't blame you for looking up pictures of them. When Bumblebee went missing, Marie cried for days. She thought I couldn't hear her at night. I could never prove it, but I'm sure it was Trevor. Man, this is messed up. So this is the cat she got, Bumblebee, four-year-old cat. Oh no, my pet is missing. Orange and white tabby. Bumblebee usually wears a red collar with his name. He's an orange tabby with white chest and paws, green eyes. Please help me find him. That's sad. Marie, what were you thinking? You know that's illegal. God damn. Stuff really got that bad? Is this all I can do? 3% or 33% charge. Torres Wi Fi. Is that it? Huh. That's Marie's birthday. That's weird. I guess she wrote it down for that Ben guy. For her pizza and movie party. Alright, I might have been a little jealous. <laughs> you think? Your inflection doesn't tell me anything. Lorraine, Marie's mom, died when she was five. My mother, she might as well have been dead. She looked more dead than alive, anyhow. Passed out on the couch, empty bottles of gin on the floor. For my little Marie Curie. That's cute. I wonder if she named her for Marie Curie.
Trevor was never far off, though. When Marie and I rode our bikes through dark nights just to get a taste of those perfect oranges, I knew he was lurking in the shadows. I never told her, but I think that's how he found us. He followed us back to the room. So, let me get this straight. Marie and Kelsey were friends. Um, Marie really liked Kelsey, at least just as a cool person type of thing, and wanted to become friends with her, and then that built up and they became friends, but Trevor was going out with Kelsey, and they broke up. Marie was going out with Ben, but when Trevor got broken up with, he went crazy, and did a whole bunch of weird shit, broke into houses, stabbed the dad. She was my friend, and I had to tell her. So I came back here, throwing stones at the window, but she didn't react, so I threw a bigger stone, and it shattered the glass. She kept the stone as a souvenir to remind her not to trust me ever again. <laughs> Mr. Torres loved that beer. After the robbery, he only had a couple left. Apparently they were hard to come by. Still, we decided to try a bottle once. Marie loved that label. She drew it in her journal. I remember that. All that happened later that night, I'm not sure. Maybe I don't want to remember. Hmm. Alright, more journal entries. Let's read the rest of these. Oh. I need to find the key. A five-figure number. Five-figure number. Dang, I probably saw it already, didn't I? And now I can't think. Because I didn't know there was a key code and I didn't know I was supposed to be looking at it. Um, okay, there's still some that I'm missing. Read those. Oh, I love cats because they're not afraid to be difficult. <laughs> this is cute. I feel out of place everywhere outside of this room. She said she was sorry, I know. But fuck! I feel like I'm walking on eggshells and that's not what a friendship should be like, right? I feel disconnected. She did not want to be my friend. She was embarrassed. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Read these, read these. Today was a good day. Only five emails from Trevor. Only five. I hope he's finally getting it. She's not coming back. He really holds me responsible for it. I can handle that if it keeps him away from her. When I saw him in the hallway this morning, he slid his fingers across his throat again. If he wasn't such a scary-ass clown, I'd laugh. But he does scare me. I don't tell Kelsey these things. She shouldn't worry. Took me forever to convince Kelsey to ride a bike, because it ain't cool. Our rides are the best part of the day now, and on this day we rode them through Mr. Jones's Orange Grove, in broad daylight. We got home with a basket full of the juiciest golden oranges. I didn't even think about getting caught. They're not listening. I've tried every authority at school. I even tried the cops, but they just patted my shoulder. Poor little girl, still traumatized. Bump on the head didn't do her any good. Fuck! Yes, I'm swearing now. A jar full of candy. What should I do? I wish I could tell Kelsey, but she'd go insane and get herself hurt. Or worse, go back to him. Trevor is dangerous. I know it's him, and there's nothing I can do. They never believe me. I don't think I'll ever see Bumblebee again. I can't sit and watch. I'll have to be fearless. I found this site where you can buy guns off anyone, and that I mean to shoot- Not that I mean to shoot anyone, it's just, I don't know what to do anymore. It's for protection, you know? Isn't that what they say? Anyway, there was this guy who wanted to sell me this totally new 9mm, meeting him out of town somewhere. A little shady, I admit, but with Trevor looking around, I'll take my chances. Uh, I did it. I hope I'm not going to regret this. Okay, there's a lock here. July 5th, 2018. So, 7 5 18? I don't know. I need to find the key. A five figure number. Oh, yeah, that's four. Damn it. Oh, yeah. Five-figure number. Are there five-figure numbers hanging around anywhere that I have missed? I thought Ooh, I Kelsey's was so phone. lucky. An adoring boyfriend, 
free burgers from the kitchen he worked in, sparkly things he bought me. I thought if I took care of him, he'd take care of me, and we'd get out just in case I didn't get that scholarship. I had no idea where the money came from. Damn, Trevor said, this is Kelsey, and Trevor said, I could watch that gorgeous mouth eat anything. I'm all for love and affection, man, but that's weird. Um, we got another new journal entry, though. Hated that thing. Okay. <laughs> A little over the top, don't you think? It's a Rubik's Cube. Nothing crazy. There's no such thing as food waste. And don't I know it. The smell of garbage will be in my nose forever. And the taste of it in my mouth. I swore I would never be that hungry again. I didn't care what it took. Hmm. Okay. Did I get everything? It's like each- there's like tiny little things everywhere that might be able to be interacted with. Cause like some of the posters won't be interactable, but then one of them in the middle of it will be or something like that. Okay, let's- let's at least read these new journal entries I got. It's kinda hard to figure out which ones are new. There's the beer bottle thing that she was talking about. Uh, read all those. I'm missing one here. Uh, this one. I'm trying to ignore the fact that all of Kelsey's cute stuff is paid for with Trevor's money. He's such a creep. I don't get what she sees in him. She says I'm jealous. As if. Thing is, she thinks she needs to get away from all of this. But she doesn't. She got away from her mom all on her own. Kelsey's the smartest, coolest, sweetest person you can imagine. She doesn't need anyone to get her out. She can do that all on her own. Too bad she doesn't believe that herself yet. Hmm. Read all these. Read these. This one. Uh, high school kid saves classmates from hunger. Food rescue. And so this is the first one. After that school article, people kept asking me why I did it. As if I were some kind of hero. So stupid. And I keep telling them the same story. Aren't they sick of it yet? Maybe I should publish a book. My life story. So they'll stop bugging me. Crazy people. Here for the last time. Last fall, I caught a kid stealing someone's lunch from a backpack. And he stuffed a sandwich in his mouth. Our eyes locked. He panicked, dropped the food, and ran. I never realized some of my classmates were actually hungry. So I joined food rescue. To help. There. The end. Everyone satisfied? So was Kelsey one of those people? Alright, I'm missing like... Maybe something up here? I'm missing one down here. And one down here? So I'm missing like three or four things. Maybe one of them is this. The case. But I don't know what the number is yet. Or at least I can't remember where I might have seen it. La La Land. That movie was a shit piece of crap. Maybe I should QR Black code. Trevor snuck us in. I don't think I could have handled wasting 20 bucks on that. <laughs> the QR code just says, Well done, you. Thank you so much for playing Marie's Room. No problem. These are the good times that make me forget. All the trouble seems so far away. Wait a minute, is that a song? Wait, there's a one on this. There's a five. Nine. Four. Okay, so some of these pages have numbers on them. There's no numbers on this one. Uh, nothing there. Nothing I see here. First one I see is a four. Okay, so four, nine, four, nine, five, one. I'm missing one. That has to be a five digit number. Okay, so there's some other stuff clearly that I'm able to click on in the room that I just haven't done yet. 
Okay, I'm gonna turn you off because I'm trying to think. I didn't like that she kept the stone. Why did she have to be reminded? I told her I was sorry, but she said it was for me to remind me. Because she likes you, you big doof. Hey, should be a new journal entry somewhere. Uh, is it this one? Yeah. Okay, I've calmed down a bit. That Lala knight was- she was with Trevor. And he is such a fucking asshole. She's different when she's around him. Not that it makes it all right. But she did come straight over to tell me she was sorry. She knows she was wrong. Broke my window with that damn rock. She said if I'd answered the call of the pebbles, she wouldn't have thrown the rock. She's been here ever since. Doesn't have anywhere else to go, really. Except for Trevor. I'm glad she'd rather sleep here. Right now as I write this, she's on the bed going over some notes from class. I like having her here. And Dad's okay with it. That's cute. So... Her mom... Looks like there's something under that. Her mom being a piece of shit that she is. Ooh, keys. Mr. Torres gave me my own set of keys, so I'd feel at home. I loved him for it. But every time I used those keys, I felt a pang of guilt. Oh. Did that update the journal? I didn't see. Uh, nothing there. It's hard to keep track of the ones that you've read and the ones you haven't. I think it didn't. But her mom was a piece of shit, drunk. So she turned to drugs and was, like, not doing all that well. And then... Marie took her in. Food rescue. Yeah, it was a good place. The Green Eatery. Ah, the first number appears. There's a three. We had a party today, celebrating three years of food rescue. Everyone was there. All those happy, familiar faces. Loved it. Kelsey came in. I never took her for one of the hungry. I don't think she knows my name, but everyone knows hers. She's gorgeous. It surprised me as all. I could see the, s the shame in her eyes when she had to accept the bag of groceries from me. Still, I couldn't take my eyes off her. If this world allows someone like Kelsey Jackson to be hungry, it must be everywhere. So I'm gonna fight with everything I've got. That's sweet. So I think Marie had a bit more of romantic intentions in mind. I don't know if Kelsey reciprocated, but three... Uh... Four... Nine... Three, four, nine, five, one. I need to find the key. Three, five, four, pick your number. Five, nine, one. She must have written it down here somewhere. Did I get it wrong? Three, four, three, four, nine, five, one, not five, nine, one. What is the code, Marie? Wait. Yay! Good work, Kelsey. I did it! Whoa! Oh my god. Oh! The past, like the future, is indefinite and exists only as a spectrum of possibilities. Stephen Hawkins said that. I wish it were true. But there was nothing I could do about the past. It was definite as hell. Sometimes I didn't get Marie. I really thought a night by Jones's pool would help her relax. She used to love it there. But she insisted someone had been watching us. I just wanted to have a good time, and she was ruining it. So I said some things I shouldn't have. She just stood there, staring at the window. I was so annoyed. And that's when I knew she'd been right. Trevor. Right there in the room. He'd just come in through the open window. Creepy! How did he find us? He didn't know where Marie and I lived. I always made sure of that. 
but he took an orange from his backpack and started peeling it. It had been Trevor by the pool, and he'd followed us home. He said to Marie, I told you not to mess with me, but still, I didn't get it. No, it wasn't until he started moving in on her that I realized it was Marie. He was after Marie. He blamed her for everything, and he had a knife. I'd never seen him so angry, so evil. Marie tried to get it away from him. He asked her why she never answered her phone. Did she not read her emails? Or did she think they were hollow threats? God, I just wanted to punch him with anything I could lay my hands on. My backpack. I smashed it against his wrist, knocking the knife out of his hands. Marie went for it, but Trevor was faster. He kicked her in the head. I dove for the knife, but he jumped me. As we struggled, he hissed. Didn't I get enough action yet? Maybe I needed another baseball bat to get my kicks. Oof. I stopped, because right then I knew what he was up to. He asked Marie about Mr. Torres. Was he all right? Did he still get stomach aches? Marie lay on the floor by the bed, in shock, realizing it had been Trevor who almost killed her father. Then Trevor looked at me, added with a smile. And her. That's when it all went to pieces. Trevor ripped us apart, and he was enjoying it. Marie didn't understand. I tried to explain, apologized, but she wasn't listening. She kept asking me if I'd been there with Trevor in their house. Trevor stirred things up even more. He told her it was me no. who had hit her over the head with a baseball bat, that I'd enjoyed it. I screamed in frustration, no, that's not what happened. Tears streamed down Marie's face. She couldn't believe I would do that. Hurt her deliberately. God, I wanted Trevor to stop talking. I attacked him, scratched his face, hit him wherever I could. I hated him. He was twisting everything. I wanted to tell her that I was sorry. Yes, we robbed the house. And we got caught by Mr. Torres. But I never meant for anyone to get hurt. I didn't smash Marie's head. Fuck. I panicked. I wanted to stop her from seeing me. When I realized how badly injured she was, I called the police. I tried to stay. Trevor wouldn't let me. He pulled me by my hair into the van. But Marie wasn't listening. I was losing it, and I like to think I beat Trevor up pretty good. But Trevor punched back harder and faster. He was about to crack my skull. Marie clawed for the box beside her, opened it. She screamed, told us to stop, pointed that nine millimeter at us. Trevor went nuts, charged for her, she screamed, told him to stay back. She'd never shot a gun in her life. She wasn't going to start now. Trevor grabbed her by the shoulders and... What do you think you remember is not necessarily what really happened, or how others remember it. But Trevor fell back on the carpet, dead. That we all remember. Holy shit! Mom, where are you? Did you get the journal? I'll be down in a minute. Aunt Marie is getting a little worked up here. She threatened to smoke a cigar in your car. Don't let her. Don't let her smoke. I love that car. She knows you do. Get down here, Mom. You're taking, like, forever. I'll be down in a minute. Bring the journal. So they're still friends? Of course I knew it was her. Who else? There was only one thing to do. Get to Marie. Aww. This is just as we're older then. Oh. That had a little sweet ending to it. Well done! That took a way different twist than I thought it was going to.
was very clever because it was building up this thing. Well, obviously it was Trevor the entire time. We didn't know to what extent. But... All this stuff, I thought it was Trevor and Ben that had robbed the house, but then you find out it was Trevor and Kelsey that robbed the house. And then he, he talked about her beating her head in and that she enjoyed it and she said he was twisting the words. And I thought, oh, maybe she didn't do that. He's just saying that she did so that he can break the two of them apart. But then she said she just didn't want her to see her there. So she hit her in the head with the baseball bat? Man, that took a twist. Holy hell, that was really good though. I like that. I was enthralled by that and I was I was into it and in my head I was like picturing all the scenarios and I was picturing what they looked like and all the characters where they were and I didn't realize that I was like so into it until now. <laughs> that was really really good. I like that a lot. It's very hard to do a game and to sell that much story in such a small space. It reminded me a lot of Gone Home when I played that years ago when that came out. That's another game that had you explore a house and discover a story through the environment. And discovering a story through the environment is very hit and miss sometimes because some games like to do it where they overload you with like journal entries or like some of the Bioshock games have the like the voice recordings and Bioshock 1 did them very well but then some of the other Bioshock games kind of relied too heavily on them so it's a very hit and miss thing sometimes you need a lot of the environment to tell you what's happening you can't just rely on the bits and pieces of writing and dialogue and those types of things to tell your story sometimes you need visual aids to tell you bits of the story as well and this some of this got a bit tedious some of it like trying to get every single little piece of information around the place to try and open up that case because I can see a lot of people playing this thinking that there actually is no end to it that you would just keep finding clues until you came up to your own conclusions but I'm glad I stuck in with it and actually searched around for everything because you have to like look at all these little tiny specific little things to try and get the whole story and I think that that could have been handled a bit better I think leave some of the the bigger story elements as bigger pieces in the environment and then some of the extra little tidbits can be the extra little tiny pieces of information around the place. Whatever, it, it was still really good. I liked it a lot and it was a lot better than I was expecting it to be. And for the fact that this is a free game as well, all of you can go play it for yourselves right now. There'll be a link in the description as always whenever I do any of these uh, games. Um, very, very good. Good job. Voice acting was decent, the story was good. Visuals were nice, the music was really nice. Very, very good. Very, very pleasing little game to play. I'm glad I did. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, punch the like button in the face! Like a boss! And I face all right. But thank you guys, now we'll see all you dudes! It's all Trevor's fault. Damn Trevor. <laughs>